What's up guys, Beyblade Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see I have my Shelter Regulus layer and over here I have its parts. So you can probably guess what I'm going to do. So let's say you want to unscrew your Shelter Regulus so you can look at its parts and like make a mod for it. But then, once you've done that, and you've torn it apart, you can't figure out how to get back. Where'd that twist tie come from? Must have been from an old boxing or something. Anyways, you can't, once you've taken it all apart, you can't figure out how it goes back together. And then you're like, no, it's doomed. And then you're sad because you can't use your awesome shelter regulars anymore. So in this, today's video, I'm going to show you how to reassemble your shelter regulars if you've taken it apart. And of course, how to disassemble it. But that's pretty simple. All you do, unscrew these screws. I use a small star bit screwdriver, which I don't have with me today because... I'm actually going to show you how to disassemble it because it's pretty obvious. Just unscrew these screws. And there are some flat heads and some Phillips you can use to unscrew it, but not a lot. So unscrew those because they should be in these four holes. And then basically pull it apart. But be careful and try not to break anything. So your first step is you're going to take this white part, which is the underneath layer. And if you tried, you should be able to put it together like so. And then you're done. No. So, what you're going to do is it doesn't matter which way you have up. One side around here on these little parts is a little different. But it, I can't find a way, a way that tells if it's going to matter. So, it doesn't really matter. So, what I do first is you should have two of these lion heads. So, take one of them and the white layer. Let's move these aside. And if you can see this little tab right there, kind of in this gap area, you're going to take your spring, which you should have two of, you're going to put it on there, like that. And you're going to have to hold it up, otherwise it's just going to fall off. So, try putting it on there. There we go. Like that. And then to put it onto here, you'll have to hold it back so you'll have to hold your spring back like, like so you can't really see because I have to hold it back with both my fingers and then you're going to take this lower layer and it's going to go here and here this one's tough so anyways get on that tab and darn it this is a tough one. I actually struggle with this one. Like I know how to do it, but it's tough to get apart. I mean, get back together. So you gotta take your spring like that, and then the heads go in these spots here. So you're gonna, I'll do this one. So it'll go here, and then because you still have to hold the spring down, put it in with this. And first, so like the head is up here and like the tail, it's not a tail I guess, but you get the point, is down here. Then you're going to put it in and you, the spring should be still be held back and it should be pushed into this little wall. Okay, no! Okay, I'll be right back you guys. Okay, so after much failure, I finally managed to get it. So that was like super annoying, but I finally got it. So what you're going to do next is take your other head. So yeah, if you thought it was bad enough, it's obviously going to get worse. So you're going to take your other head and spring, and you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to put that in, that old tab, hold it down, and try putting it in. And if it's like going over that white tab, that's not right. It should be, like the spring should be entirely on that yellow tab. Between the yellow and there's a little white bar right there, like on this end it's right there. And it's in the same spot on the other one. So, yeah. If it's overhanging then it's not going to work right in battle. The ability won't. So, let me try this again. And you guys are probably like, dude, it's so boring. I just completed this step. It's kind of hard to do because I'm trying to fit everything in the camera. So let me zoom out there. Um, oh, darn you. Yeah, this one's tough because you have to hold the springs back. 
So, let's try this again. Ugh. No. Hmm. I've tried doing it the other way around, like doing it like this, but that's even harder. I've actually never gotten it that way. So, try this spring again. And try my best to get it on there right. This could take a while. So, yeah, in the meantime. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Come on, you. This is probably going to get edited out. Okay, there, I got it. I was quiet there for a moment because I was trying to get it. So there, now you're going to take these, like, little cloth things. You should have two of them, they're yellow. And you're going to just put them down in. And you might put your fingers, like, on top of the springs and kind of push down, but not too hard so that they don't come off. So this should be loose, so you'll place that down right there. And then another one on the other side. So the one of the ends should be under the lion's head, like its mouth, like its upper jaw. So now I'll put that on. So there you go. So next what you're going to do is you're going to take your god chip. It doesn't matter what way it's really facing, just take it and put it on there, like so. And it needs to be facing so that like this little bit is like like the bottom of this R, the main leg of the R, is like facing one of the heads, otherwise it's gonna look kind of derpy. So once you've done that, this, it doesn't exactly matter which way it goes, but if you can see, there's like this little arrow right there. Yep, it's on that side. I wasn't sure for a moment. Indicating, like, pointing at the god ship. So I always do that so it's on the top, pointing down on the R. So I put that on. And I push down. And there you go. Now, obviously, if you want to try the ability to make sure it works, make sure you're holding this part with one of your fingers and then the god ship and pushing down. Otherwise, it might come apart. So, yep. Oh, sorry guys, my camera's, forgot to move it, so, yeah, that's what you're going to do, so, if you're, I wasn't sure if you guys saw that, so, put a finger here, put a finger on the god ship, or evolution disc, whatever you want to call it, and you can test if your ability works, and I did mine right, it should feel like before you took it apart, and then, you're basically, you're just going to take these screws, and screw them back into the four holes you took them out of, here, 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 and here. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I'm not going to bother screwing it in because you guys should be capable of that. And if you're not, I'm kind of disappointed in you. You should really try to get smarter. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you enjoy these tutorials because it's kind of fun to try to make mods and stuff with the springs. So yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on next time on my next Beyblade video. Stay hyped, you guys.